psychotherapy is facing a very profound crisis. I think the teaching of the fathers, Freud and Jung and Ronk and Adler, has been uh, in this crisis almost completely lost. And the problem is that psychotherapy becomes more and more <coughs> a system of gimmicks. People have special ways of doing their own therapy. Uh, they uh, learn which particular buttons to push. They're taught various uh, techniques by which they can, <coughs> so that they at least cure this uh, isolated symptom or that. Now that wasn't the purpose at all of Freud and Jung and the rest of the, of the really great men who began our field. Their purpose was to make the unconscious conscious. Uh, and that's a great, there's a great deal of difference between that. Now the gimmick approach leads to a general boredom. And the reason there are so many new systems of psychotherapy that spring up, every time you turn around there's a new system. Three or four hundred now uh, that exist with this kind of therapy, that kind. Uh, the reason that this happens is that people are simply bored, as the therapists are bored. And they have to find some new gimmick in order to make it amusing, at least to them. Now, they're bored because they deal uh, with the minor problems of life. And they patch a person up and send him out again. I don't regard that as real therapy at all. The therapy that is important, as I see it, is the therapy that enlarges the person, makes the unconscious conscious, it enlarges our view, it enlarges our experience, makes us more sensitive, uh, it enlarges our intellectual capacities as well as, uh, as other capacities. Now this is what Freud was setting out to do. It's what Jung was trying to do. So Adler and Rock, Otto Rock, these people never talk about these gimmicks. It just didn't interest them. What did interest them was making a new person. 